Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here again. So in this vlog update, it's going to be part one and part two. Part one, I'm going to talk about right now, about how um, the globalist, liberals, socialist, corporatist are basically creating a system where more and more cities are turning into what I call technocracies. And here in America, you know, the, our biggest technocracy would be San Francisco, San Jose, and then another one would be Washington, D.C., and then obviously um, Manhattan. Um, you know, there's quite a few, Seattle, but the biggest ones, you know, if you really think about it, I would say the biggest ones would be San Francisco, San Jose, and then Washington, D.C., and then New York would be probably number three. Um, and what a technocracy basically is, is when you have a lot of government workers, bureaucrats, that's the bureaucracy. And then you have a lot of techies. That's the techie of the technocracy. And you put a lot of those jobs in the city center. And you do that to make the house prices a million dollars, two million dollars. And then what happens is the house prices then become astronomically expensive in that entire city, in that entire region. So for example, they'll put techie jobs and bureaucrat jobs, and a lot of those government workers, a lot of those techies, they make 200000 a year. And they tend to date, they tend to marry other people similar to themselves that also make, say, 100000 200000 a year. So they can afford to buy a house for $1 million, $1.5 million. And of course, their life sucks. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Their life sucks. They're in traffic jams. They work 60, 70 hour weeks. You know, they throw away their children in daycare. You know, their, their children get abused in the daycare center a lot of times. You know, their lives suck. A lot of times they're work martyrs. They work 60, 70 hours a week. They skip their vacation. They pay 1.5 million for a tiny little house. You know, their life sucks, all right? Sadly, their life sucks. Uh, you can say it's a joke, you can say it's sad, whatever. But basically, their life sucks. But what happens is, this technocracy, these government bureaucrats that make 200,000 a year, these government workers that make 200,000 a year, these techies, especially in San Francisco, San Jose, and then Seattle, Austin, you know, there's a lot of other cities too that make like 100, 200,000 a year, they tend to get these jobs in the city center. These jobs are typically in the city center, and what that does is that makes the house prices in the city center, you know, over a million dollars because those people can afford it. So they, they, they bid up the prices so the houses go from 200 up to a million dollars, basically in the city center. And then what happens is your nurses, your school teachers, you know, your mid-level mid -level white collar workers, mid-level, high-level blue collar workers, family income 50, 100,000 a year, they're priced out of that city center. So then they gotta go to the first ring, which is usually a suburban ring around the city. And they drive up the house prices in that area to say 500,000 because a lot of those people in the mid level they make a family income 120, 140,000 family income. You know, you've got a nurse, a school teacher, you've got a plumber, a, a nurse, a, a plumber, a school teacher. You add it up, a lot of them couples are making over 100,000, you know, with both incomes. They're making 100, 120, 140. So they drive up the house prices in, this, in the first ring of the city to say 500,000. Now obviously, most people can't afford that. So then they have to go further out to the second or the third ring, the exurbs, the exurbs, which is like 20, 30, 40, 50 miles away from the city, depending on the city. And then they gotta pay like 300,000 for like a small house. And basically what happens is everybody basically pays the maximum they can afford for the smallest house they can live in. And it's totally disgusting, it's totally sick. And this is what happens in the technocracy. Cities like San Francisco, Washington, D.C., New York City, Seattle, um, San Jose. I mean, that's what happens in those cities. All right, it creates hell on earth. That's what it does. It creates hell on earth for pretty much everybody but the filthy rich liberal leftists at the top. The filthy rich liberal leftists at the top, they make all the money. And pretty much everybody else is actually screwed over. Because what they do is they wind up paying maximum price for a house they go into house poverty. They can't take nice vacations to Hawaii, Alaska, Europe, Switzerland, ski vacations. They can't do that because they're in house poverty. They're paying all their money for their mortgage payment, all their money in taxes, taxes, taxes. It's a total scam. It's a total ripoff. It's just a total con game. 
and they're creating more and more of these technocracy cities. You know, San Francisco, San Jose is a technocracy city completely. I mean, it's pretty much totally that way. All right, Washington D.C. the same way. You know, um, mostly bureaucrat jobs, bureaucrat government jobs in Washington D.C. Mostly techie jobs in San Francisco, San Jose, and then New York City is mostly um, finance jobs. But you also have a techie sector in New York City. You got a lot of government jobs there as well. And you, you, you got a lot of techie jobs in New York City. It's becoming more and more of a tech city every year. Same thing with like L.A. You know, L.A. is starting to become a tech city as well. You go to Santa Monica. Santa Monica, there's a lot of tech jobs in Santa Monica. That's on the um, west side of L.A., right next to the beach. And you see this in more and more cities. Portland, Oregon, and Denver, you see more tech jobs in those cities as well. Even Salt Lake City, you know, just 30 miles south, 